We're watching a video documentary here with all kinds of Bruce Mozart, photographer, cameraman versus camera underwater camera. I got it. Welcome to hey, you all and we have our life jackets. They are all stored up over your head there. They have them needed in over a hundred years. It all winds up in Atlantic Ocean up around Jacksonville. When it comes out of these springs it's 72 degrees and it stays that way the whole year round. The Mammoth Spring will be the last spring now that we'll see on this tour. Black one is the male, the one with the brown next to female. Mingus. The white one on the twig over there, that's the great American egret. That's the great American egret. It's over big fish running down the line. Big blue shad down around the bottom. Big blue ones. 34 feet of water. Below you. That's where there's more fresh water coming in down there. 38 feet of water. <clears throat> this bottom formation here consists of lime rock, snail shells, and sand. On our movie, the creature from the Black Lagoon was also filmed right here in this spring area. The third is filmed along the Silver River, a little bit farther down the stream. All the bluegill brown, the little panfish up mm -hmm. top there, right alongside of them. A lot of bass, that one big one. 38 feet of water. That's big bass. <laughs> Captain just threw in some bird, some, some fish food for him. They're eating it now. The bass again. Here he is, here's the big bass. That's very cool. There's catfish in here, you don't see too many of them, but there's some in here. That used to be what we specialized in years ago. Spot. Oh, Cypress, sweet gum, bay, red maple. <coughs> Last bottom is unique. A bird with iron. Some type of dino song. It's been tested down there many a times. Proven to be. Lived along this river. Like in the 1500s. Little dugouts about growing over with algae on the bottom. That is Indian dugout canoe. 21 feet of water. That's a small hose you might a double along the bottom. Following us here. Those are all vents. That's where there's more fresh water coming in now. Artificial lighting there. Oh, natural delight. That's kind of great water. The bluegill brown you see up there, they'll grow up and get about two pounds and they make very good eating. You long nose gar up front down below you. Oh yeah, there's a gar. I was talking about the gar. I caught one of those in uh, Louisiana. There's a spotted gar. Ugly fish when you get it on, on the dock. It looked like uh, an alligator. 
yellow belly slider turn. Got him. Yellow belly slider. Cypress trees over there. This is Spanish Spring. That we are entering here. A lot of you see up front there underneath. Spanish a lot of there's a Spanish here robot here. Four or five hundred years. Four or five hundred years. You know, we all have an age water, water to the Spanish. I mean, I don't know the female uh, alligator. It's got a Valentine's flower on its back. It's a Valentine's flower. Those plants along the bottom there, black Christmas trees, that's all hydro. Right side, they lined up on that log, ground on your left side. Yeah, it must be half a dozen or more, a dozen maybe. Girl, you get them? I don't know. Got some turtles? Sand hill trainer in there. Superstition, a lead hazard, if you come around and have a picture taken right in the loop of that palm tree. Now five years of good luck. The loop palm tree. Looked around back to itself. It's a Bond movie. Moonrake Girls. And James Bond also filmed Never Say Never Again. Statues. Name a few of the many movies now that... Alvin film here at Silver Spring. Hundreds of movies filmed here. And episodes. The movies that I'm talking about. James Bond with the hands on the inside of the boat there, please. Well, we're in the Dade Indian Battles Memorial Park. And it's commemorating the, the Osceola uh, attack on Fort King where the Seminoles tried to capture and kill this fort and territory which they did. Well, this is a well done museum visitor center here in this battlefield area. Well, it looks like the German flag there doesn't it? To your right? No. A little bit. I didn't know there was a Indian Seminole flag. They have a tribal council, and it's interesting, the uh, Seminole Pledge of Allegiance was to this flag here. With the white but on top, I think it's the German colors, black, red, and yellow. I'm not sure. The black just described uh, this heavy wool uniform the soldiers wore at that time, 1830s, for the Civil War. And when they took off these heavy wool coats, weighed about 20 pounds, they were left with this beautiful silver medallion which shone in sun and was a, a great bullseye for the Indians shooting their weapons. Hello. Here's Judy's mom. This came in from Virginia. Springfield, Virginia, I think she said, yeah. And we're out here by the pool. We are. We're out here by the pool. Lovely. This is all screened in here. 